Hey, hi, first grade. Just doing a little clean in here in the classroom. Uh, you might have noticed I added my lovely picture frame of all your smiling faces looking at me as I teach you from my workspace, also my dining room each morning, and we do our video lessons, which we're on lesson 9.6 today. And we're going to do some more vending machine stories where we're gonna add two digit numbers and we're gonna compare a little bit today. We didn't do that yesterday. And then we'll kind of talk about name collection boxes in a different way. Um, so let's get started here. We have a math message up on the board and it says the vending machine has new prices. Do you see the little face right there? That means the prices have gone up. It's more expensive. Peanuts were 55 cents. Some can of peanuts in my picture, but this is just a pack in the vending machine. It's somewhere, oh, there it is, peanuts. All right, so now they cost 65 cents. Mm. Charlie has 55 cents. How much more money does he need? Uh-oh, look, I'm proofreading my own sentence. I didn't make that a question. Did y'all catch that? I was making sure you were paying attention. All right, so how much more money does he need? Well, let's think about this. We can solve this by counting up. We did that yesterday on your lesson. And what I mean by counting up is you start from the money we know Charlie has, and that is 55 cents. So I'm gonna write this down and create a number model for you. And again, you don't have to use the cent signs in your number models. We know we're talking about money. So he has 55 cents. So we know he needs 65 cents, all right? So this is the information that we're missing right here in the middle. So you can get on the number grid. Some of you I know might know this in your head. We've talked a lot about 10 more or 10 less. All right, so if we get over here, get out of your way. Penny, do you wanna do it? Do you wanna do it? Okay, I'll do it. We get on 55. We know that costs 65. We could just count by ones, but that's just too much work. Let's just go down. One row we know is plus 10. 10 more, 65 cents. So we just went down 10 for 10 more, 55 plus 10 is 65 cents. And that's what he's gonna need if he now wants some peanuts. All right, let's do one more. And this time we're gonna talk about the granola bar. So I'm not gonna write the whole number story out, but I'm gonna erase this one so it doesn't confuse us. We don't like to get confused in first grade. All right, so this one's a little trickier, so do pay attention as we go through this. All right, so we're gonna do another story where we're gonna compare what's happening, happening, happy, what's happening with this vending machine and price increases. So let's say our story sounds something like this. The price of a granola bar went up 30 cents. That's, that's expensive, that's a big increase. Maybe they dipped it in chocolate or vanilla or peanut butter. It's more expensive now, 30 cents. It used to cost 40 cents, that was the price. So now we have to figure out well, what does it cost now if it's gone up a whole 30 cents. So let's start with what we know from the story. And we know, okay, it was 40 cents. So let's put that up here. Again, you don't need your cent sign. We know my number story told me the price has gone up 30 cents. So we're adding plus sign. We're gonna write 30. And now we need to know, what does this granola bar cost me now? It better be good, right? So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can count up, just like we did a few minutes ago. We can get over here. Penny, where's my count, my pointer? Okay, where are we? We're on 40 cents. We know that's what the granola bar cost originally. It increased 30 cents. 10, 20, 30, 70 cents. Hmm. All right, that's one way we can do it. Another way that we haven't talked about yet, we're talking about money through our school store and this vending machine. A lot of you like to count by tens, so draw yourself some dimes. How many dimes do we need for 40 cents? That's pretty easy, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now we have three more dimes for 30 cents. All right, so now you can go back and count them all at the same time, 10, 20, 30, 40. Keep going, 50, 60, 70. Again, your answer, is 70 cents is now the new price of the granola bar. All right, last thing we're gonna talk about is a name collection box. And I realize you're getting our video a little bit later today than usual, that's okay. 
You may have noticed the name collection box was a little bit different today on your journal page. I think it was 200, let's see, 202. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's erase the math message, we're done with that. That might confuse me. All right, so let's draw an example similar to what you see on your math journal work today. So I'm gonna make my box 17, okay, it's 17. I'm gonna start with this as the given information. Now, in your math journal, it's gonna ask you to write other names for this number, 17, and then make a number model that's true. All right, so is eight plus eight plus one 17? Remember, you don't need the equal sign here. We know everything here is 17. That's true. And you'll probably say, well, yes, Ms. Shimbob, eight plus eight is 16. That's an easy double fact. Add one more, you got 17. So here's what they mean by add other names. Let's do money. We just finished doing some money. So let's count, starting with our dimes, 10, 15, 16, 17. Now let's make a number model. 10 for the dime, plus five for the nickel, plus two pennies. Is this still 17? Yes, it is. It's a different way to get 17. Let's do this. Let's draw base 10 blocks to show 17. We know we need one long and seven cubes. Let's make this a number model. So we have a long is 10. We have a, <clears throat> Actually, let's count our cubes here all together. You know I like to go by rows of five. So let's go five, six, seven. Is 10 plus seven 17? Every day, all day long. Yes, it is. All right, so they want us to do four ways. Let's do a domino. We know we can do dominoes up to 18. And so remember, you have to draw the dots in the correct pattern to get credit. So I'm gonna draw my dots here. I know nine fills up one whole side. So I go back one. And that's going to give me another number model. 8 plus 9 is 17. So this is showing you lots of ways to find 17. It's also helping you with some of your facts that you're supposed to be practicing at home. So this is a different way of doing a name collection box. The other one is going to ask you to cross out the ones that don't belong and to also write the ones that are true again. So pretty easy lesson today. You're welcome. All right, I'm done. This is a quick and easy lesson. You have Math Journal page 202, not 203, like Landon pointed out today. Thank you, Landon. You did that yesterday. It's my mistake. Um, no home links tonight. Good job. All right. Penny, are you ready for dinner? It's not quite dinner time, but we can get a snack. Do you want a snack? Do you want a treat? Okay. Say bye. See y'all tomorrow. Don't forget Crazy Hair Day, and don't forget your book report. I'm out.